wing actually does taste good. Wise good people, we are back with a full day of eating today. First meal today is a very simple one. This is something I probably have probably about four or five times a week. Typically, I would have it with whole wheat bagels, but if you saw my latest uh, grocery haul video, you'd know that the store was out of bagels. So what we're doing is having fried eggs on toast. Super simple meal here, but the most important bit where you gotta do, you gotta salt the egg, but specifically the egg yolk. It really makes it taste good. And the egg itself cannot be overdone, it has to be a drippy egg. Ever since going to Mexico last year, me and my girlfriend have been obsessed with like runny eggs, even though I used to hate them back a day. I think this is maybe the first time I've a runny egg in my life. Drip over to the other egg. For those of you that aren't new here, you know typically I'd have a much higher protein breakfast because I'd have egg whites in there and probably have an omelette. So on the days when I have this meal, typically what I'd either have is I would have had a protein coffee instead or I will supplement the extra 20 or so grams of protein with just having a protein shake. It's about uh, one scoop of this. This is the clear way Vimto flavour and I'm almost run out of it which I'm so upset about. I think this is like one of the last ones I've got of it. But after I have this, about 10-30 minutes, I'll come back and have one scoop. All right, folks, we're dashing Kareem to go see Chris Brown. She got rules, though. <laughs> Check me one of those women that go on stage and get lap dances. That's what you think. All right, so we got rid of Kareem, so she's going to be off with Chris Brown forever. So what we're going to do right now, folks, as it's a full day of eating, I cannot tell you the last time I went to a drive through takeaway. So we're going to do that. I'm trying to think, McDonald's or KFC. Normally, I would just, for example, have like a protein bar, which I have in my glove compartment. And then I would literally just hold me over until I got home. But I feel like, you know what, why not do one of these before I gradually get back to my regular diet? Yeah, I could have a two-piece variety meal, please, with two thighs in it. Do you want to make it a three-piece for pizza? Uh, now I'm all right. I have water, please. Water. Do you want to go large on your fries, just the extra? Uh, now nah, I'm alright, thanks. They always want you to go extra and go large. You haven't got to go overboard. She wanted me to go super size on the actual meal to get extra extra chicken. And she also wanted me to get extra fries afterwards and an extra drink. I'm like, there's no need. Even though it is 50 pence, this is how they get you. It's so affordable, it makes sense to do the super size. But I just don't need that extra food. wing actually does taste good. So what I got in the end was a two piece variety meal, which basically means two pieces of chicken, one chicken strip, and I think two hot wings, and a small fries. The chips ain't that good anyway, so the goose can have them. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the seagulls were drawn line. So it was a nice day, so I was gonna eat outside. But yeah, then when the seagulls came, I was like, nah, that's that's uh, that's enough. For but what I'm actually gonna do, which is mad, we are actually about to go to McDonald's just to get fries, just because I ended up giving all the swans all the fries, and they didn't taste that good anyway. They were soggy. I like firm fries, so I'm just gonna go to McDonald's and buy medium fries on their own to have with my chicken. So here we are, like a nut job in the drive-thru of McDonald's just to get medium fries. Hello, can I take the order? Yeah, can I have a medium fries, please? Yeah, of course, you can. Do I need sauce for that? Uh, barbecue sauce, please. Yeah, drive home when you can, thank you. You know what? Shout out to McDonald's. I'm actually surprised you didn't try and upsell me. Mm, these wings taste really good. Last time I had KFC, it tasted horrible. That was about probably just over a year ago. And that's probably one of the reasons why I don't have it so frequent. Because when you have takeaway, it tastes really good. You get addicted to it. But when you have a bad experience, it just tastes like crap. You're not really that eager to go back. All right, thanks. All right, we got the goods. We got the McDonald's. Yeah, straight away. The fries are rigid. I love that. No soggy chips. It probably has like about 80% less real potato in it. Well, I gotta say, it does taste good. I will say today, I'm a boss my ass in the gym after going to two damn takeaway stores. That's a good topic. People always say to me like, when you have takeaway, should you feel guilty and should you go better off? 
I don't think you should feel guilty. If you balance it in and you, you're alright, you don't eat all the time, then it's cool. But me personally, I definitely do. When I have like takeaways, I will actually, you know, try and push myself a little bit extra in the gym. Just for the simple fact that when I eat takeaway on a day, especially because I don't eat frequent, my body just feels like a rock. It feels so sluggish and it can't move and I feel bloated. So either exercising or going for a decent walk or doing something just makes me feel better. Uh, one last thing we got along the way is the 3D. Uh, great drink. I have never tried the great one. I've... Yo, this tastes good. This actually tastes like a grape drink. Are these meant to be zero calorie as well? 15 calories a can. Yeah, that is on point. That actually tastes really like grape. Usually, to get that kind of flavor, it has to have calories in it. But that is really good. The, man, the fact that I managed to get this. Mm. Right now, what I'm about to do is go to Costco. My friend Chanel just pulled up. I always feel like a big child when I have these trolleys, it's so big. Alright, let's get some meat. Alright, let's go for... You know, I need to get back on the high protein thing. Let's go for fillets pre-chopped. I wanted to get some of these steaks, but they're like £33 because obviously they're in stacks of four. Uh, it's a little bit pricey for me still. That's all right, extra mature dry aged sirloin. But they look good though. Cooked octopus. You know, out of curiosity, I want to know is it high protein? Uh, per 100 grams is 16 grams of protein. Yeah, maybe I will in the full day of eating one day. I'll get myself my picky eat yourself to eat one of those. This is a fitness vlog, so I have to show fitness in here. One. Can you treat them? Yes, please. You should be lifting this. She said you want to start gym. Who? You did. This could be your uh, upper body training. I just don't know how I feel about that. Exactly. You could have been holding this every so often, just going, mm, getting a nice little yeah, goblin squat. Hey, hey, I want to get uh, my chicken. I think it's this one. Is it this one? Is it the high protein one? Per fillet is 21 grams of protein, 22 grams of protein, and 200 calories. Yes, it's this one. All right, folks, more or less done here at Costco. A shout out to whoever it was that mentioned that you can put yourself on someone's Costco card. Because my friend's graciously gonna whack me on their Costco cards. You'll probably see more Costco food hauls. Probably more detail. <laughs> Whatever, all I know is that typically guys tend to be funnier than girls. Just facts. Name three female comedians. <laughs> exactly, name me one. I'm not really great at people's names <laughs> anyway. Jesus. Exactly, that's a fact. You don't know. I bet, you, I bet if I told you men though, you'd know bear in it. Yeah, because the world's sexist. Oh, right. shut up. Don't give me that patriarchy crap. So the next thing I'm going to eat is another old school classic and that is the high protein cereals. So basically you make a protein shake, you pour it into the all brand and then I use the granola as toppings. For and that's about it, a high protein cereal, very simple recipe that a lot of people always struggle with their fiber. Like even to hit their protein, the fiber is the one they always struggle with, me included, which is why I always try and make sure at least four or five times a week have a all brand based cereal. All right, folks, ain't gonna lie. Highly did not want to come here today. I want to get some cardio in, especially after eating all that food. Right, folks, and there you go, full day being. There's been a lot of stuff today. Today's been like a rare, really, really, really busy day. Very simple recipe. So it's chicken fillets, a whole egg, and basmati rice. Personally, I am a fan of the sticky rice from VT. However, my girl loves basmati, so we've got a lot of that stocked up. So this is like a random day for me at the moment. The only thing I will say that I wouldn't have had on a regular day was the takeaway. Like, I couldn't remember the last time I really had takeaway. Apart from like Domino's pizza on the odd days when I go into my work office. So. That's the only other time really I have takeaways. So yeah, hopefully it gave you some ideas so it showed that you can actually eat various foods and fit into your diet and still manage to come out with a high protein sort of day. Anyways, people, I'll leave you guys here. And also hit a thumbs up if you want to see more full day eating coming with more recipes and stuff like that. <laughs>